All right. Thank you, everyone. Welcome back to the NXL Windy City Major. I'm Mike Jeffrey. It's a real pleasure to be joined by former teammate, former player of mine, Benny Carroll, now Baltimore Revo. How are you doing today, Benny? Doing well. Sun shining, beautiful day, and uh, the paintball is going great out here. Paint shooting great. We got two teams you're familiar with from playing in semi-pro last year with the New England Hurricanes, Paintball Fit and Arsenal. Uh, both teams are 1-0 and right now, so good showdown nice. we got here. Nice. Who do you like? Who do you like? Who's your money on right here? Two great teams, honestly. Um, if they're both hot, this is going to be a great matchup. Uh, pa paintball Fit's been playing it pretty slow, and they, they had trouble their first match of shooting the snake runner off the break. So it'll be interesting to see if Colt uh, can dial in that shot on the snake runner off the break. Yep, Arsenal has a great uh, offensive attack on the snake side. We actually practiced them last week, and uh, they were sneaking out past our guns on the snake mm -hmm. side. So we got Paintball Fit breaking out to the snake side corner. Colt shooting from the Dorito away from the three. Kind of a conservative breakout for Fit. They like to roll their guns, but now crawling into the snake. He's unmatched by anyone on Arsenal. Yep, good move into the snake here, right to the 50. That's what we like to see. I don't think Arsenal knows he's there. Oh, yeah, they picked him up, but he's still unmatched on the wire. Arsenal mostly in the back line. They got the snake side tower shooting inside for the Dorito zone. Yep, pretty standard breakout for Arsenal. Playing the cross on the Dorito side. Hammering the bounce shot off the snake brick to try to give this paintball fit player trouble. He's got support behind him, playing heads up, which is nice. And the Arsenal guy is going to look to start to make his way out and up to match him on the snake side. Colt moves up to the snake side tower. He's holding up the Arsenal attack on the D side. Arsenal with three bodies committed to the D side. Now PB Fit coming over to Arsenal's side of the field. This is a really nice move. Hopefully it baits one of these Arsenal guys to go and a guy behind him can pick up the move. He's going to dice up that snake side tower in the back. Going to get the can. He's, he's calling nope. the Dorito side can, but I don't think he shot him. Ref's going in hot. He's yelling minor. That's a minor and yep. is going to be a minor. So paintball fit. Going to blow Arsenal off the field over here. Ooh, yep. one more body over there in the Dorito 3 for Arsenal. Almost catches Lucal, the, the other Brody Lucal. Yep, you have Lucal and Mason right over his head in the snake. And now they're going to come through and walk it in. Really controlled point for paintball fit. They sent... Chavez to the Dorito one and just had him inside all day long to keep Arsenal out of the snake and maintain their advantage over there. Yeah, and I really like the aggression on the snake side from PB Fit. Getting up and getting all the way onto their side forced Arsenal into some bad situations. When you have that much leverage on the snake side, the guys behind you can come up, dink loaders out, push guys into your gun, and that's exactly what happened in a matter of seconds. Three, four bodies from Arsenal. Call. We've seen that set up quite a bit where we're in 50 snake or something 50 snake or the brick and if the other team isn't wider than the can it turns into trouble exactly exactly so who do you got today who's your first game today we have ironman first oh and ml kings so we got be we got benny carroll former hurricane player playing the ironman who picked up keith devitt trent nitta and kyle nicolau so a little new england rivalry going down in that fun. one play, i've never played against the boys but uh you know can't wait to see that must watch on the Go Sports webcast. Thank you for everyone who's here on the free live stream out here on Facebook for some semi-pro action. Yeah, this is awesome. This is a great setup for the semi-pro, and there's a lot of really great stories down here. You know, obviously playing in semi-pro for quite a few years, seeing a lot of great talent come through this division. I mean, these guys are tip-top of paintball, and they're hungry to get to that pro level, so this is great paintball. And then we got Mike Mesa on the newbies over here coming back down to semi-pro after aftermath, shooting inside from the Dorito side can, unable to shoot the Ruthless player 15 who makes the snake off the break. So Ruthless with an early advantage during the Dorito side brick and the snake too. Newbies look like they're stuck in the back line. I think they have the wide, small Dorito. They do. But all forward progression for Ruthless right here. And we got an Ironman jersey over here for... Yeah, that's Stump. Uh, Hank Stump, he uh, was not at Sacramento. So the Ironman decided to roll with their 10 players who played Sacramento where they got second place. So he's rolling in with Ruthless Factory. Very nice. One of these teams out here looking to play spoiler. They do lose their snake side tower, though. 
So the newbies, even though they're stuck in the back line, now they peel off the Dorito side brick. So the newbies started off with poor position, but with poised gun battles are now up bodies, just peeling off ruthless players one at a time. Yeah, ruthless oh. is overextending a little bit. Nice counter shot for the player on ruthless to dink out the guy coming out to the god on the snake side. That's going to slow down the chaos a little bit, and everyone's going to try to find the bodies here. The back center player for the newbies does not know that the snake has died. He's really dialed up, waiting for someone to show up on his side of the field. What do you see out there, Mike? I see back center for the newbies. I see Dorito side can for Ruthless. Uh, and now we got a streaking newbies player onto Ruthless's side of the field. He went to the juice box. Yep. So, yep. He's wrapping the juice box on the Dorito side can. That stump, the Ironman player, comes around. Did not trade with him, so the newbies are going to take this point. This back center player still doesn't know that it's cleaned up, but that's okay. His buddy's going to go run in there and hit the buzzer. Yep. And that's kind of one of the important things on, you know, especially as teams are progressing, connecting with your teammates on the close is really important to to make sure you can add that third body of, of pressure for that last guy so he can't get squirrely and get a kill or two. Yeah, you don't want those to feel like one-on-ones when it's three-on-one. Exactly. Um and, you know, with Ruthless, a team that's new out here, you saw them take spots and then play individual paintball from those spots. And the newbies were able to execute in their gun battles. And um, even though negative positions, they were able to capitalize on selfish paintball. Yeah, and newbies, we've play, I've played against newbies quite a few times, and, and they have good gun battlers. Oh, They're yeah. very good at sucking yeah. in and shooting good paint where you're going to be. And uh, Ruthless kind of got you know, pulled into some of those bad gun battles and got dinked out. For sure. And now we got Paintball Fit and Arsenal coming back out here. Paintball Fit winning that first point. They're not playing with a ton of pace out here, but, you know, zone control and guns off the break, that's kind of their game. So it'll be interesting to see. The other two teams that have looked really good so far, 80 degrees and sunny, 13 miles per hour wind. Perfect paintball Great weather. Great paintball weather. Yep. Maybe you get a lucky gust, curves that thing in. Yep. Someone's tucked in, right? Exactly. And, and PB Fit has really just progressed in their gameplay. You know, after dropping down from the pro level, uh, they were able to reestablish kind of their culture, their team. And, uh, you know, they were they were really close to breaking through on the pro level. So coming down in the semi-pro level, they have been playing, you know, just incredible paintball down here. And that's, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a very mature style of paintball played by Paintball Fit. Yeah, and they didn't lose their confidence. They took their yes. beatings, but they didn't lose their confidence. Um, and now they're growing and, and looking really good. Arsenal here, though, pressing the issue into the snake, too. The snake side wedge and the Dorito side juice box trying to bring the action to Paintball Fit. Paintball Fit, Brody Luke out with the dive into the snake side wedge. I'm not sure if he knows there's a 50 snake. Ooh, yes, he does. He gun battles him out. Huge kill for Paintball Fit. Yep, and that was Amir who got into the snake for Arsenal and you know kind of interesting paintball fit pushing the snake the point before having success with that and then going away from it so it kind of lured Arsenal to try to match him up there and then they did a really good job of digging him out definitely they got Chavez into the Dorito too and they have the snake side wedge looking inside to slow any Arsenal progression on the Dorito side Arsenal is in the snake side wedge playing heads up they have the Dorito one who's inside PB fit gets oh, caught I think that was team kill Team kill. Might have been a team kill. Yeah, he's, shake, a, he's shaking his head in yeah. the you shot me way. Yeah, that was, a, that was a nice sneaky move in the middle. Those little bricks, you know, not a lot of people are playing them, but if you sneak up there when someone doesn't know and they overextend on a move, you can pick up some bodies. And catch that, that move from the wedges into the bricks. Exactly. Yeah. So good idea there. You know, team kill, that's that's an easy way to, you know, it's an easy thing to clean up. Yep. And you have PB Fit still putting themselves in good position to win this point team ball out here rolling their guns they got chavez in the juice box they're looking at arsenal players in the snake side wedge i think the snake side tower in the dorito one i think it's four on three for fit chavez now creeping up into the dorito four so for arsenal you have this snake side tower and the snake side wing wing both heads up here and then you have a little retreat back to the can on the snake side for arsenal i like that yep no one wide for fit on the snake side he can start making his way out to the corner. 21, Adkins gun batting like a maniac against Chavez, who's in that 50 wall. Oh, a major on Chavez. 
So Atkins shot Chavez. Chavez played on. And now they're going to pull two paintball fit bodies. The last one's going to run to his death. So Arsenal going to pull one out and tie this up 1-1. Very nice. It really felt like Fit was in control of that. But, you know, one major penalty will blow that up real quick. That's huge. You know, four on three. The advantage is for paintball fit and getting a penalty like that is definitely detrimental to the point, but still really good match here. It's going back and forth. So this one's exciting. I mean, this is really the pace that we're seeing out here too, which mm -hmm. feels a little bit like Sunday pace, mm -hmm. you know, a kind of Fridays you associate with bloody knuckles, getting in each other's faces. We're seeing these long methodical points out here, which I love, you know, yeah, seven man days. Technical style. paintball. Yeah. Technical paintball. I think both of these teams know that the other one is a threat. And so there's a lot of respect for, the lanes, the moves, the gun battles on this field right now. And uh, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a little more of a technical, slower style. It's the fourth event of the year, fourth or fourth major event, of, third major event of the year. Mm -hmm. So you've scouted these teams. You've played these teams. You know their players. You know what they wear on their head. Um, and that adds a whole new dimension to the game. It does. And all these teams, like we talked about, are super hungry for that top spot. And Arsenal's battling for it. And, of course, Paintball Fit's right there, too. Paintball Fit, ranked first, you know, really eager for that pro spot. It's their race to lose at this point, mm -hmm. you know. If they make finals all the way through, they're going to find themselves back with the big boys next year. And I'm sure that's what they want at this point. They know, you know, they're at the top of this division and they want back. Everyone knows they drill all day out there in Texas. They play a lot of paintball. They play a ton of paintball. Now back here with Newbies and Ruthless Factory. Newbies pulled out. That last point from the back line. Let's see what they run with here. Good tag up there. Almost an early jump from the newbies, but he got back to the box in time. And they shoot a guy. Running snake off the break. Ruthless. Ruthless. Out of the snake, yep. And now newbies filling up into both towers. Ruthless. Pounding paint from the back center. Newbies playing, you know, a, a light pace game. But Ruthless yep. is already into that juice box on the Dorito side. Newbies now into the Matching 50 him. wall. You know, the nice thing about the newbies is they're in a really good spot to to kind of trap them in the pocket, and they shot the guy on the Dorito side as well. So now they've killed the back center as well. I think it's a five on two at this point. Yeah, they're peeling off ruthless guys pretty quick now. They're in the 50 wall, so they dominate on the Dorito side. Now filling out to the snake side, getting into the snake side wedge. Newbies in full control out here. Yep, this is just about control, connecting with your the guys next to you and applying pressure where it's needed. So they have the two, the can on the snake side and the Dorito one, and they're just gonna work them out here. This is when your back guys who are shooting empty zones all day, try to go and bunker someone. <laughs> get some glory, have some fun. Yeah, get something to remember out there instead of just holding the lane all weekend. They kill the snake side can. And just like I said, oh, that's Mesa. He's gotten plenty of action. Absolutely. Cleaning out that last guy to go up 2-0. Pretty convincingly for the newbies. Yeah, that's a good pickup for newbies too. Mesa is a vet with a lot of paintball experience, a very high paintball IQ. So that's a great pickup for them. And it looks like it's paying dividends. Nearly pulled out a one on three in their first game oh, earlier. Yeah? You know, one of the situations far up the Dorito side, they went to sleep on them, mm -hmm. try to make something happen with the lead down bodies. This feels really good for that. You know, if if you do go down bodies, counter punching on the snake, counter punching in the Doritos, getting lost. Picking up a quick kill, turning a three on one into a two on one, another quick kill, and then you're back in the you know you're back in the driver's seat at that point. What do you like? What what spot do you think you're playing out here this weekend? Probably a lot of the middle. Yeah. Um, I like getting in those towers and those wings early, just because it controls the side of the field, and then you obviously are in position to, you know, get the communication to where it needs to go, find the bodies, and then close the game from the middle. It's it's a really nice middle of the field. It's gonna be, you're gonna see a lot of creativity. There's not one way to play this field. Yeah. You're seeing some interesting you know, gameplay over on the, on the pro field as well. You have teams like Damage, which are doing slightly different stuff, avoiding the middle a little more. Gotcha. Just so we're getting some intel. Getting word from Rob, our ultimate ref over here, that the paintball fit player wiped. So it was a major penalty. So fit is starting with four players this point in a 1-1 tie game against Arsenal. Fit risking a body out wide to the snake corner. He makes it, but Arsenal going snake off the break, knowing they have a body advantage off the break. He goes straight into the 50. So Arsenal up a body off of Fit's penalty, but Fit matching them in the snake, getting into snake one. The Arsenal player tries to hop out wide and catch him on the crawl. Shadow's playing a factor out yeah, here on he these snake him. side wire. Ooh! 
nope. I thought the fit player put a shot. Oh, man, he did put a shot on him. The refs are uh, very upset. Oh, wow. Uh, that's frustrating. Yeah, the ref did not like the pace at which Aruda, number seven, left the field for Arsenal, so called a minor penalty. Yeah, yeah, he got he got just nicked in the hopper. And he tried. He really was trying to ditch it. That's why he was doing the backward crawl there. But it looked like it, yeah. He didn't quite know if it was there or not, but he wanted to crawl back and just kind of um, assume like it wasn't. <laughs> so Arsenal had the advantage off the break, but now Fit is in the driver's seat coming to Arsenal's snake. And this is where they have production. The first point, they went away from the second point, kind of bit them in you know, a little bit, and then now he's going to get a couple easy kills here. That's nice. And I think it's just one guy left. It's the Dorito one and the Snake can, so two left oh, for okay, Arsenal. Two. I don't know if he caught him. The Dorito one knows he's there or is wary of a deep snake presence. And now Mason coming up behind to apply the pressure. Just two bodies left for Arsenal. Now just one in the Dorito one. And Fit is looking to have a nice clean close. They're going to catch him on the desperation run. Yep, nice shot from Arsenal back on the snake. Uh, their snake to get that one elimination, but just a little too, too little, little too late. Too late. There we go. There we go. That's Team, that phrase. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> so Fit going to go up 2-1 with 8 minutes and 17 seconds left. And, you know, those are big swings, right? Starting with four bodies mm -hmm. and you pull out the point. Mm -hmm. Everyone's juiced up. The wiping gross major is forgiven by all the boys now. This is a game of momentum, especially on these semi-pro fields. You know, it goes back and forth. The The emotions are high out here. That's why the storylines are so fun down here on the semi-pro field. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really about maturing as a paintball team. And these are those moments, you know, when it's a back and forth match and you're looking at each other and just saying, hey, you know, we got to go out there and no, no matter what happened, if we were up bodies, down bodies, if we lost the point, if we won the point, we have to walk on the field fresh and get it done. Short memory, right? Short ne memory. Next point mentality. It's yeah. really important. So, you know, Ruthless can really take that to heart right here, down two points, right? Can't afford really to go down 3-0 against a team as experienced as the newbies. Really kind of want this one if you're Ruthless. Yeah, we're going to see what they're made of right here because yeah. they're down two, but there's 1140 Plenty in the match. Plenty of time. Plenty in the match. So if they can just get one and get in a rhythm, they can definitely get back in this match. They run like, Snake off the break, but he gets shot. The newbies' guns are there. So it's going to be four bodies for Ruthless, five for newbies. Newbies are in the Snake side tower shooting cross and the Dorito one shooting cross. Hank Stump is going to fill into the Snake. Good counterpunch because they also eliminated the newbies' Snake side tower, which is a big kill to even it up four on four. Running ref into the Dorito side tower for the uh, for Ruthless. They're in Snake 2, Clean. and now the newbies match them in Snake 2. Stump going to take the walk. He got shot at Snake 2 from somewhere. So just three bodies left alive for Ruthless. Yeah, this is newbies game to win. Yep, they got another elimination right now. All they should be doing is just connecting, communicating, and just finding these last two bodies. They're up four bodies to two. Oh, and, and the Ruthless player getting into three to three. You love to see that down bodies do. in this situation. Try to catch them sleeping. I think he got one over there as well. So I think it's a three on two. Ruthless with two bodies alive. They're in the back center in the big Dorito three. You definitely got one. I saw one newbies player yeah. walking off. Newbies have the snake side Aztec. Oh, they snake lost two. the ruthless guy. So now it's just the Dorito side tower. He gets diced up by the remaining newbies player over there. So newbies looking to go up 3 0. Good control paintball there. But that is what we've been talking about the counter punch on the Dorito side. He gets production. If he just stays alive and connects with this guy and tries to get one more, that's a close match right there. Close point. Yeah, I mean, I think the difference we're really seeing is the newbies are playing team ball. You know, their guns are really networked in a you know, sophisticated way. Mm -hmm. And Ruthless is dying playing individual ball, one gun battle at a time. Now we're coming back to Fit in Arsenal. Fit with a one-point lead, 8-17 on the clock. So still all day for Arsenal to come back in this one. Be interesting to see what Arsenal goes with. They've been putting three bodies to read away pretty consistently. They don't really like the deep snake run all that much, I don't think. 
But if I were them, I'm running it. You know, Fit Fit really had no success shooting Snake off the break in their first match. And as a coach, I see that, and I'm like, all right, I'm running that till you shoot it. And Amir, he's small, he's fast, and he, he runs good routes. So he's getting over there clean. He's just got to get some production out of the snake once he's Going there. around the corner, but he's going to go straight. Oh, so the, stops at the corner. Yep, he likes doing that. At practice, he was doing that a lot. And, and Fit really doesn't have anyone in the middle and the towers or the wings to shut that move down from the corner to the snake. So we'll see if Amir can play off of his advantage. He's, he's out wider than paintball Fit right now. And if he can sneak into the snake... That's going to be a good advantage for Arsenal. Yeah, and Arsenal also has that Dorito side wedge inside, so that's going to hold up this guy in the snake side Aztec from making that bump. So Arsenal set up okay. Fit. Good kind position. Of, yeah, Fit just staying alive in those back five. Playing back five ball. Arsenal coming into one of those juice boxes in the center. Yep, that's a nice move. He's going to try to pick up this guy from the god on the paintball fit side, trying to go into the snake here. Now Colts in that Dorito side tower, playing heads up. And this is where the sophistication starts to shine with, with some of these higher tier semi-pro teams is those secondaries, that mid-match or the midpoint scenarios where they put themselves in position to support, to progress down the field, stay and, alive. And just as you say that, an Arsenal player is walking off from the back line. Fit up a body, up a point, seven minutes left. Not a ton of progression. But they're communicating. Yeah, hear, a lot of good communication you hear out there. Colt, Colt is not just screaming codes. He's asking questions, getting to that next level of conversation where you really start to put the puzzle together. Yeah, the you know for everyone watching, if you're trying to really get to be a better paintball team in general, the quality of the questions you ask in the field is going to determine the quality of your communication. If you're asking questions out there, you're going to get answers. And the quality of their questions is really going to dictate that. Yeah, it. you should watch Mafia Productions on YouTube. They mic up Dynasty players. It's a master class in communication. If yes. you want to be better at paintball, you should watch those. And when you're watching those, take notes. Write what they're saying. Write it and, and just study it. Write everything that you hear out there. Write it down on a, on, a, on a you know notepad and go back and practice saying what they're saying. And then it's just going to be natural. So, and it's really important. So this is what I find interesting about Fit is they're having success out here playing oh. a much slower pace. As I say that, I curse Colt who gets shot going <laughs> forward into the Dorito brick. And now Aruda for Arsenal is going to go into the 50 snake. I believe it's four on four. Fit is in the juice box on the Dorito side. The snake side can. The back, uh, corner. The back corner. Oh, and Arsenal's Arsenal about to get a penalty. <laughs> That's unfortunate because they're really doing a good job of getting back. In, oh, they were doing a good job of getting back in this point. Yeah, now a couple quick deaths for Arsenal. Fit rolling their guns. They got Chavez on the Dorito side in the juice box. I think he might be alone over there. Ah. Arsenal player getting shot out of the snake side. Aztec, I think that might be it for yeah. Arsenal. It is. They blow the horn. 3-1, 5 minutes, still, still a close Still match. in that match, you yep. know, it's really not over. I think what makes Fit sort of, mm. I don't want to say intimidating, but one of the stronger teams out here is it's that slow chokehold Yeah, they don't style. give you a lot. It's not, and mm -hmm. it's, you know, if some a team beats you really quick, you're like, okay, they made Snake off the break and came down, that's fine. Yep. We'll throw it away. Yep. With Fit, you can't point at one thing. It's suffocation. It's a, it's a lot of things yep. at once, and I, I think that's, you know, it's a tough thing to beat, right? Because it it's not about plugging one hole. No, exactly. It's it's just a matter of there. there's a strength there that's hard to overcome. It's like when you're fighting your older brother and you just can't get out of his grip. That's yeah. kind of the situation. And Arsenal really needs to dig deep here and find a way to match that and get above it because, you know, these are two really talented teams. They can absolutely come back. They just need to fix a few little mistakes. You know, they had yeah. the counterpunch. They got into the snake, dinked out of the snake. Yeah. He stays alive. That's a whole different point right there. Really different point yep. in the 50 snake without anyone in there with them. Exactly. And now Ruthless down three points to the newbies. This is a really huge point. If you're Ruthless, we're looking at the newbies on the screen. It looks like we've got a deep snake runner. Nope, stay short. They go to the yeah, outside might have been Dorito. A bad hop off the box, maybe it'll look like. Yeah. Newbies lose one off the break, but so does Ruthless. I believe it's four on four out here. Newbies losing another. They had two in that snake side can, so just three newbies players left alive on your screen in the Dorito side, tower shooting inside. And I like what Ruthless is doing. They're getting aggressive on that Dorito side. I think he's in the Dorito four. The yeah, the juice box. Juice box over there. Yeah, um, looking inside. He's on your screen right now. And as we say that, newbies countering on that side. 
it's a like, match. I think that's Mesa direction. in there getting into that Dorito one. Ruthless now sliding into the Dorito side tower, shooting inside. He's worried about a snake filler. I, I'm not really so concerned. Oh, I think he might actually made a shot that bounce shot off the insert into the can. So mm -hmm. just two bodies left alive for newbies. There is it just two? Yeah, it's the Dorito side tower and the Dorito two. Two. The juice now. box now. Yep. That's Mesa. You know he's going to try to make a move here, right? So this is huge for Ruthless. Ruthless really needs to connect here and find a way to, to work these two newbies guys out. There's a lot of talent on the field right there. And if they can if they can work them out of those two spots. Listen how quiet it is on the Ruthless side of the field right now. Yep. Just one gun firing. No connection between the remaining three. But they got a kill. Good shot. Now Just Mesa. And out now for the counter punch. Mesa launching. I believe the center player picked him up. So it looks like Ruthless is going to put their first point on the board. And there's going to be a penalty. Let's see who. Penalty on. on Ruthless, I think, but see, they still have a body. That and doesn't two make any sense. That doesn't make any sense why they'd pull it on Ruthless there. Ooh. We're going to get some clarification over there because yeah. the penalty went up. Mesa was eliminated. The Ruthless guy went in for the buzzer. Yeah. But then they pulled another ruthless guy. Point approved. So ruthless will get the point. They did what they needed to. They got that those last couple of kills and the point, which means they pull it within two. So it's three one. New ball game. New ball you, game. You're right back in it. Down two. Similar situation here with paintball fit up three to one against Arsenal. Yeah, time on the clock on both of these matches. So yeah. Now we're getting into uh, gut check time yep. with these matches, right? If you're Arsenal, this is a huge point. You don't want to let Fit win a slow two-and-a-half-minute point to go up three here. Exactly. Has Arsenal played today? Mm -hmm. They beat P-Mob. Ooh, nice win there. Yeah. Very good. The P -Mob, boys from the uh, Northeast, P-Mob, yeah. They had a really, really brutal Close. last last player alive spin major. Oh. So you, you basically lose two points in a row. Yep, yep. That's a tough one. Yeah. But some good play out of P-Mob. They won their first game, so they're going to finish up one and one. Definitely still in the hunt. Love Absolutely. to see that from our pals over there. Steve Schloss, John Derula, Thomas Mantoni not Chris playing. Costigan, yeah. all those guys. Costigan's not here. Not Costigan's here. Not, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really good uh, squad put together by Dean Carlton over there, preferred mob. Um, Isaac, former Revo player. That's right. And a lot of guys that you've played with and won with. Yeah. World Cup. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Essentially, what we're getting at is Arsenal and Fit are in the thick of their tournament right here. This is these are two. Re this is, you know, for both of these teams, this is a really big match. Fit, you're thinking, you know, we're in the one seed. We can't afford to miss Sunday and let Blast Camp get back in this. So all these matches matter to them. Can't take anyone lightly. Um, Arsenal, a team that's been on the cusp, who can punch with anybody, but hasn't really put it together yet this year. Yep. We got a little timeout here as the refs have a a powwow. You Make know, sure they all know what's going on. Discuss what happened the last one. Lift each other up. How's your day? How are you? How are you really? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do you need water? <laughs> you looked a little angry when you threw that major yeah. flag. So there's something going on at home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, these guys have, have, a, have, a, have a tough job out here. You yeah, know, it's a phenomenal thing they do. They stand out here in the sun and the heat and dictate, you know, matches by trying to call them as fair as possible. Yeah. All right. Arsenal on your screen here. They're going to shoot for the snake side runner, but paintball fit stays short. They run out to the snake corner. PV fit bounces the Dorito side can off the break. That's a great shot off the break, but they didn't get it. And Arsenal loses a Dorito guy, which Running is going to be tough. into the snake corner, but he That's made fine. it a Ruta. So Arsenal wide on the snake side. Paintball fit up into the snake side tower. He's switching to be heads up. I think Colt switched him. Yep, couple big moves on the Dorito side for paintball fit. He's putting himself in a position here. I think and Arsenal has lost two. I know they lost one. It might have been a slow walk off. Yeah, that's the that's the one they lost off okay, the break yeah. on the Dorito side. Yep, so they got the Dorito side can, the home, the snake side can, and the snake corner for Arsenal. So stuck in the back line. Meanwhile, PB fit is in the snake side brick. Really dominant position right here. Back center going to launch into the Dorito side tower for Arsenal. I think he's going to try to come through oh. and catch PB Fit, but he's going to catch something from the Dorito side. That's what we talk about when we see 
a team like Fit playing off each other, not allowing that guy to launch through and take their brick player. Exactly. PP Fit reading the situation. There's a touchdown and a 50 brick, meaning Arsenal's really got only one option, either either stay back and wait it out or come and get him. And the PP Fit guy knows, you know, Arsenal's going to be a little overexposed, trying to look for that middle move, puts a gun on the middle and gets that guy out of there. So Fit has the Dorito side brick, and now they're into Arsenal's wedge. That's a really tough spot to be in for Aruda. Tiny bunker, down bodies. So just one body left alive for Arsenal, and that Dorito side can. Fit up two points, three minutes and 30 seconds left. I would buzz this I would buzz it for sure right here. Oh, it's two It's two players, but they're both in the cans. I think a little Ryan Brand playbook here. Yeah, yeah. That's extremely low odds. They do kill one fit player, but Arsenal will blow the horn to go down You need the time there. It's three points, three minutes. Still doable. It's really not over. You need one point. You're in that mindset now just yeah. one point and we're right back in this. and this field you know they might learn something here if they start pushing this field fast and getting the kills this field can play fast and the way pp fits playing it it definitely tends to slow this field down but arsenal has fast guys all over the field they could push down that snake push down that dorito early and punch through the middle and they could learn something in the next few points here yeah this could be a big point a uh, big swing for arsenal even if they don't take the match yeah they might learn something here yeah that's key on day one of the tournament the most dominant player we've seen out here so far is Haber for Chicago Distortion, mm. stopping low at the box, shooting snake way, and then running broken arrow snake mm. off the break, and then coming, you know, looking to feast. Like, Just he comes down. straight yep. into the 50, immediately wraps, goes to their side, pulled out uh, two buzzers with under 10 seconds to go mm. in the first of both their matches. We like that. Love to see it. We love seeing that. So now we got newbies and ruthless newbies with a two-point lead, but plenty of time on the clock. Ruthless trying to build some momentum after winning the last point. Mm. Newbie's going to stay in the pocket. Yep. That's kind of the Roll newbie's game. Guns. They're very good at it. So they're going to their bread and butter, especially up points. They're going to fill out to the... Oh, nice little bump into the juice box by the newbies. He's clean. Ruthless progressing down the field, getting into their secondaries and... The newbies guy is progressing. I think he's in Dorito 4 at this point. He's past the juice box. He he's still alive. The, he might be in the... Uh, yeah, the way that Dorito's getting shot, I imagine he's in there. Ruthless does get into the snake, though. So they got the juice box and the snake, a decent spread, and five alive for Ruthless. This is this is where you want to see this Ruthless guy come down the field, get in the 50 snake, yeah. and apply some pressure. And that's what it looks like he's trying to do. So this is good. Oh, he stops and shoots the snake side he tower, yep. puts his first ball on him. Love to see that. Calls out his kill. He's looking inside. I would like to see him go straight into that. Yeah, this is right his moment, that. and he's got the help behind him in the god, you know, the, the insert into the snake side who's really containing the opposite snake side player for the newbie. So he has the space. He has the help. Yeah, he's, he stopped and tried to wrap and there shoot him go. in the snake too. He That's should be able to shoot that tower. He does get that kill in the tower. Perfect. The newbies fill into that Dorito too. Guy in the newbies, I think, is going to work a little bit because there's some bodies coming yeah. out for Ruthless. Three alive for Ruthless for sure. I think two for the newbies. He fills out to the corner. Wow, he makes it past the Ruthless gun. So now we got this tape wire battle between oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. number the, nine Frazier. The, new, the newbies, newbies player. guys on their side. So two newbie, just two newbies players, but they're on to Ruthless' side of the field. He launches. No one saw him. The newbies are going to win this point. Yep. Ruthless had that point to win, but just weren't able to keep track of Mike Mesa and the Dorito push for the newbies. Really good poised point. We're able to absorb a little punch from the snake side and take a commanding 4-1 lead. Yep, a bit of a big brother moment there from the newbies saying, you know, welcome to the division, but, uh, you know, whatever you're throwing at us, we're going to absorb and we're going to uh, turn around back onto you. That's Matty Marshall loves the boxing metaphor out here, right? Absolutely. You need a few punches out there. You need to be able to throw them and you got to be able to take them too. So important, you know, for anyone watching that's trying to progress, the study of any martial art, you know, any style, really, boxing, it could be MMA, it could be anything. There's a lot of correlation that you can use in your own gun battling. When you're training, slipping shots as if you're slipping, you know, in boxing when someone throws a punch, you get a slip and you get a counter. And that's the same out here. You got to be able to slip and counter not only individually when you're gun battling, but also as a team. You know, if they throw a shot at you and they kill a side of the field, you slip, you get out, you counter punch on the other side of the field, turn the field, get back in the match. 
<laughs> it's it's really uh it's it's a great thing to study martial arts is a great thing to study for paintball in that inner poise too right you lose two off the break but you don't think we're losing this point we lost two how can i attack yeah, how you can think we how sure this up how yeah. can we win this point how do we win this point? yeah just yeah. use everything the opponent throws at you use everything all right so arsenal down three now this is do or die Ooh. time basically they're gonna run sneak off the break and he great is gonna play make call it. here I uh, love this from PB Fit too. So they match up in the snake, but you know, one of the best, you know, that we say it all the time, best defense is a good offense. And PB Fit selecting the snake off the break and he makes his shot down the wire. That's fantastic paintball right here from that, Paintball Fit. That's drilling. Yep. These, these guys drill, lefty snap, first one down the wire, gets the kill. Huge for Fit. Now they're in the 50 snake and Arsenal's gonna have a tough time digging them out. They do make a move into the juice box on the Dorito side. Fit has the Dorito one, both towers on the cross, and the snake side can. Snake side can playing heads up, just making sure that his boy Rogers, number 31, in the 50 snake is okay. Yeah. Rogers is communicating back here. He's letting him know that he heard the information. Now he's going to wrap, try to shoot that Dorito tower. Now the Dorito tower knows he's there, rolls off. I just, I love this play call from Paintball Fit. There's three minutes or so in the match, I think 3.30 to start this point, and they throw a punch. They yeah. They throw a punch and they get into a spot that's going to make it really hard for Arsenal to, to win a quick point here. He makes his first shot, which puts Arsenal in a really bad spot. And I want to point out Rogers here ripping a bounce shot off of one of those wedges, showing that he knows this field. Arsenal trying to win it on the, the Dorito side of the field. They've kind of given up on the snake side. It's all Rogers gun battling oh, over the top. Puts shot. a beautiful shot on the tower. And in this scenario, Arsenal has to make a really tough gut call here. The coach either has to blow it and, and hope for a miracle and, you know, three or four points, or they have to ride it out. And that's why that was such a good play call for paintball fit, because Arsenal right now on the field is just watching the clock tick down, and that's a frustrating place to be. Yeah, I, I it's an interesting situation now because it's going to be mercy rule point. So you can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, you can't, can't even buzz it anyway. Yeah. No, well, it, this point isn't the mercy rule point, but the following one will be. So you can buzz it, but I think they don't want to leave too much time on there with the idea being that maybe it's a no point. Maybe we get one. Yep. And, you know, look look for that margin. Because now it's a margin game. So so yeah. it's five points in semi pro? Five points yeah. in semi pro. They won their first match, but it was a close one against P Mob, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to have that mercy rule victory thrown off your margin. Mm -hmm. Definitely going to finish the day one and one. They might. They're going to let it go. They might let it go all the way and lose by four. I think that's what they're doing. Yeah, they would have blown it by now. So it looks like the final score to this one is probably going to be five to one fit over Arsenal. A closer game than the score indicates. Absolutely. Yeah, five to one is a final score. You know, when you see it on paper, that looks like a blowout. But really what you have was a lot of technical points and paintball fit, you know, showing showing that they've been up there in pro they've come back down to semi-pro but they have that mature style and winning most of those you know close body situations in that core you know they came up from d4 i think they went undefeated like won all the tournaments in d4 yep. then went they undefeated went in d3 had a great year in d2 so even though they got beat around in pro this is a team that knows how to win they have a lot of national yes. wins in recent memory which is a huge huge factor i think yeah we played them when they were ac dallas um with Harrison the, Stanton for yeah, one event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and at, uh, Astra. At Astra, oh, right. we played them as the Hurricane when I was on the Hurricanes, and they destroyed us. I think it was like 6-1. to one. And it was, you know, it's actually a lot of fun to play those guys because they want to gun battle you. And they, as much as they look like a slow team, they're, they're really prone to, to get into gun battles and have some fun out there, and that's what we love to do. Uh, they got the upper hand on us in almost every scenario we, we yep. had out there. But they're a great team, and... You know, them coming down here is actually one of those moves like we don't see it a lot in paintball. A team willing to come down and, you know, they might have had an opportunity to buy a spot. I'm not sure exactly the logistics of that, yeah. but they decided to come to semi-pro, reestablish their core, drill a lot, play a lot of paintball and prepare themselves to get back into semi-pro or back into pro because I think they were kind of hurled into pro. Yeah, yeah. And originally. Most of those guys made the jump from D2 to, to D pro, exactly. which is a huge jump to make. And, exactly. you know, they have the youth. I think youth is a factor there for like being willing to stick together, you yes. know? Another yep. year of paintball isn't like a oh I don't I don't know if I want to grind yeah, up there. Just again. keep going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We got plenty of years. None of them are thinking like you know. Yeah. Anything about it. And learning how to win again. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. It's great to see.
So it's now, a great match. Newbies up four to one against Ruthless with six minutes left. Plenty of time in this Ooh. match. Newbies gonna run out to the snake corner. Ruthless matching them as well. Both teams living on that run. Newbie's gonna fill up into the snake side tower. Play heads up, it looks like, and probably look to get into that wedge. Ruthless tries to get into the snake, he does. So Ruthless, the first one in over here, but Newbies have three bodies over here. This Aztec guy, I don't see him getting heat. I'd like to see him make the move. There he goes. Yep. Now matching up with Ruthless. See, this is where Ruthless needs to come and support their snake guy. The only guy shooting this way is a can cross from the Druido side. Too far. Yeah. Too far. Too, and there's just, there's not a lot of communication coming back to him. And he's really in the position to make something happen. And you here. can feel Frazier um, noticing that lack of support, right? His body language is, and I want to go forward. He's a little bit worried if I go forward, who's going to back me up? Right. And that's why he's looking inside instead of crawling to the 50 right there. Yeah, and really at this point, he has no one watching him because the guy in the Dorito is shooting inside, but he really can't stop anything from happening yeah, on the snake like, side. Yeah, like you shoot that inside if uh, they haven't made it into the snake, but the newbies are in there. He's in snake too. He did the throw the pod at the 50 trying to bait the ruthless yep. player forward and to be fair maybe the ruthless guy who's supposed to be kind of shifting out is the back center who is clearly having some gun troubles yeah he's got his loader he's got it in 45 <laughs> he's got it yeah, <laughs> yeah something's right. going on there um uh, frazier ah. the snake player gets shot battling inside from the 50 snake now the newbies will take over the 50 snake Schumacher number 20. Yep, good Holds veteran player. He's been playing for a long time. Very good decision maker on the field. Nice methodical player. So really newbies again showing showing their maturity on the field. They've been doing this for a while. They've been right in the top kind of three, four teams from in semi pro for a while. They're in the Dorito three. Um, Ruthless and the newbies are are mirrored on the Dorito side, but now the newbies are coming onto Ruthless's side of the snake. Probably gonna, gonna look to peel off this back center player pretty quick. He, ooh, almost puts a shot on him. That was a that heater. Was close. But then he gets shot. Now the Dorito one's gonna get diced up for Ruthless, and it's kind of a matter of time. Newbies putting on him. <laughs> Newbies gonna Taking take it. the five-one lead. Yeah, and uh, some words. Some words being. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. we love to see it. <laughs> A little back passion. and forth. Oh, dang. Circling around each other. That's Trevor Regan. Used to play on Aftershock. So, you know, a guy with some pro experience. Oh, and, yeah. And, and a bone to pick now, yeah. it looks like. A lot of Aftershock guys. A lot of, you know, the colder state guys, whether it's north, you yes. know, in the Midwest or northeast. or Guys who know what indoor paintball is. Yep. These are guys that, you know, normally have a chip on their shoulders. Oh, oh yeah. I remember him from Aftershock. Yeah, and he's he's a good paintball player, so he does not like to get beat up. Yeah. And he's going to, you know, let them know that uh, next time he comes out here, it's not going to be such a cakewalk. Which will be in a minute, 30 seconds, because we're in pure X-ball now. So mm -hmm. we got to get out there quick, which, you know, I think these situations really benefit teams like the newbies that have played a lot of events this year. You know, they know how to turn things around quickly, whereas Ruthless, they're sort of learning what they are in the pit. Yeah, yeah. Which is a tough place to be. Yeah. You're, you're, you're trying to grow and evolve in real time. Uh, that That's obviously, you know, a tough place. And there's not a lot of teams who can do that. And the ones that you do see who can do that obviously rise through the ranks really fast. Yep. Um, the volume has definitely been turned up in the ruthless pit. You see a lot of red faces over there. And this is where you've got to use the energy that, that Reagan's bringing. Uh, is it Regan or Reagan? I have no idea. Yeah, I think well, it's Reagan. Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> you got to use the energy he's bringing to the field to uh to rally around you know again 419 419 i yes. mean we've seen it before and a, and a team who is really willing to go into the breach together you know and support each other can come back from this this is four points in 419 minute points are very you know very standard on this field very doable out here you know these are kind of the moments where i think all that time together off the paintball field yes. pays off they come in this is when do we care about each other do we believe yes. in each other yes do we believe that this is actually possible? And you can kind of look around and see who believes. And if one person does and another person does, it becomes infectious. It's so And if true. the whole group believes, you win one point right here. They're like, whatever, whatever. We you win two. We can do it. Now they have the fear. You're still down. You're still down points, but you got all the momentum. So. Yeah. If you see, you know, if you see them looking each other in the eyes, getting fired up, 
you know, be careful because they can come out here and get it, get in a rhythm. All you need is one to get in a rhythm. All you need is you one. You need the momentum and then you keep going. So what's your play call here, Ben? You're ruthless. Let's see. So 419, you know, we got it. We got to be behind our guns here. We yeah. got to be behind our guns. We have to move in sync and we have to have a guy to kind of hit the buzzer at the end. And I think they're just going to have to find ways up the field, whether it's around the corner and into the snake, whether it's out, you know, to that Dorito one or the Dorito corner, however you want to call it, the small Dorito and then up. And then it's guys coming through the middle looking for loaders, looking for kills. You know newbies going to suck in. Yep. So you need two two guys at a time to come through and then just have one guy to hit the buzzer at the end. Absolutely. So we're looking at the ruthless breakout here. Hank Stump looking to shoot snake way, using that height. Yeah, nobody Hang should on. put their guns down here. It should, this uh, should be. Ruthless going to lose their snake corner off the break. Uh, hard press up the gut for Ruthless with both wedges and the Dorito side brick. That's Trevor Regan over the top, but then he gets caught down the wire. So yeah, he needed his he needed his guys to be rolling down the Dorito side gun up. And now we're seeing Ruthless kind of get pushed around down to their last two bodies, yeah, staring this, down the mercy rule. And they the stacked are hunting. too many in the middle, kind of playing inside out there. And they lost needed, their wide, wide guy off yeah. the break. I don't like the corner run either there. I would, I would if it's corner, it's around the corner and up, and you're yeah. shooting your way the whole way so that you get a couple as Whoa, you go. Oh, the little slide and maybe... Uh, Going on, catches one in the ear from his teammate. That's karma. Yep. In action. Well, Shoemaker, add another one to the. And that'll do it for belt. this. A newbie's mercy rule victory. Benny Carroll, thanks so much for coming that fun, out. That, that was, was a fun. real pleasure. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. And uh, thanks for having me. Yeah. It was a blast. Yeah. Good job, Ruthless Factory, newbies, Arsenal, and PB Fit. Great matches. Got a lot of good matches coming up later on today in this division. Shout out to our sponsors, ProShar, Eclipse, GI Sports, HK Army, Lone Wolf Paintball, Die Sup Air, and Lux, and XL. Of course, shout out Anthony Vitali, Boston Paintball. Doing great things. Great things. And that'll be it. That'll be it. All right, thanks, Ben. <laughs> that was fun, man. All right. Still rolling here at the Windy City Major. We're going to get Vince from Let's Talk Paintball right back in here. Got Austin Notorious in Colorado Blitz coming up. Annapolis A-Team versus Veteran Militia. A lot of great paintball action still coming your way. I think we might have a short lunch break here. Not 100% sure. It's my first event out here, so still figuring out the rhythm. Thanks again to Benny Carroll, and good luck to Baltimore Revo this weekend. Team Sunshine. Benny Carroll putting solar panels all over the Northeast. Am I still alive over here? Am I still talking? Okay. Thanks, everyone, for watching that set.